The sniffer has finally been added to Minecraft, and we're gonna go find some today so we can make a sanctuary for them. We have some big adventures ahead of us today, so welcome back everybody to the Chill Survival series, and let's get started. So the 120 update is out, which means there's a ton of new things for us to discover. We've got tons of new items, biomes, and so many things to explore. One of the things that has really piqued my interest in this update is the archaeology. And within the archaeology is the sniffer. And for those unfamiliar with the sniffer, it's essentially a prehistoric dinosaur that will sniff the ground for flowers. Honestly, what I like most about it is that it's just really cute. But in all seriousness, I think it would actually be really cool to have some hanging around the base with us. Plus, we would get those really cool flowers that they would dig up. But if we're gonna build a home for a bunch of sniffers, we're gonna need quite a bit of space. Now, this area is reserved for the windmill that we actually were supposed to build, but then the update happened. So this patch is gonna be out of the question. Now, we do have some other good spots in the farmland that we could potentially use for a sniffer home. And ideally, I wanna keep my farm animals close to each other, so this patch is also out of the question. But if we walk a little bit further past the barn over here, there's a lot of space that we can work with. This area is adjacent to the farmland, so it still fits in theme with everything. Plus, it has tons of room for us to build. So, I think it fits the bill. Now, we know the sniffers are big boys, which means they're going to need quite a bit of space. I do also know that their eggs hatch faster on moss, so that's a must for this sanctuary as well. What the heck? What happened here? It looks like a creeper randomly blew up here, but I never heard it. We'll have to patch that up soon. So my idea is that we make an overgrown enclosure made of lots of trees, leaves, and water for these guys. So they have a nice shaded area to hang out. They like shade, right? I don't know. They're prehistoric and old. I figured they might not always want to be in direct sunlight. So let's start by fixing up some of this land and making it a little bit more even in some of these spots. All right, this is flattened a bit more and it's looking good. Now we just gotta fix whatever this is. We should probably light it up first so no more mobs spawn, cause this looks like a little bit of an issue. And yeah, you know what? We're just gonna pretend this never existed. Hey, what's the matter with ya? Oh, my apologies, carry on. I'm gonna border it off just to about here so all the other animals can at least get out of that pit if they want to. And I think this area is nice and evened out now so we can begin building our sanctuary. Okay, let's start things off by outlining the footprint with some spruce. I'm gonna have to cover this up as well because I think we're gonna utilize this space too. Also, the amount of farm animals in here, what is going on? Oh my gosh, it's a lost cause at this point. So I think the connecting piece all the way around is going to be this little hill right here. And I think you can kind of get from this outline that it's gonna be more of a rough circular shape because all of the materials are very organic and we want it to look pretty overgrown and natural. So it doesn't necessarily have to be very symmetrical. So with that in place, the next thing that we need to do is start building up the walls of the sanctuary. Now I don't really know how high sniffers can actually climb, but I'm assuming it's pretty much the same as cows. So we're gonna use this two block high enclosure as reference. And honestly, the style of this cow pen is pretty much what we're going for with the sniffer sanctuary. So I think they're gonna look really nice next to one another. All right, let's start filling in these walls. And I sure hope that sniffers cannot climb over fencing because I am gonna be using quite a bit of it. Now let's get some leaves wrapped around all this stuff. And we'll just keep going with this loose pattern all the way around. There's not really much of a method of placing all this stuff down. I'm just kind of going by feel, but making sure to have some big pillars of wood to act as anchors for the rest of the smaller blocks. Then we can't forget to strip all of this spruce. That would be a tragedy. And last but not least, let's get some slabs and stairs on these walls just to round off the shape a little bit. There, I think adding those has made the wall look a lot more clean. It was just lacking a little bit of shape before and looked a little bit too jagged. So now that the walls are done, you may have noticed that I left two entrances for this sanctuary. One over here and one over here. I figured it would add a little bit more interest if we had two paths converging into the sanctuary. Now, all of the walls have been set in place, but this place is still lacking a lot of detail. It's okay, we can say it. This thing looks dumpy. But that's fine, we can change that. So I think the first thing we can do to make the terrain of this area look a little bit nicer is do something with this grass wall. So we don't have to do anything super spectacular with it, but I think it would look a lot better if we terraformed it a little bit to make it more of a rocky cliff rather than a dirt mound. 
And we did also say that we wanted to give our sniffers a little area to splash around in, so why don't we add a little bit of a waterfall to this too? But first, let's start switching all of this out to some various stones. Okay, the general shape of this is looking pretty good. But like those jagged wall pillars that we had, it's lacking a little bit of definition. And that's where we use our trusty stairs, walls, and slabs. I didn't want to go too overboard, so I think that this is perfect. Just has a little bit more rounded shape overall and makes it look a little bit more organic. Now I'm just going to quickly fix up the area around the pond as well, and then we're good to go. Moss and bone meal are definitely our best friends today. All right, now let's get this water sorted out. And I guess since we have a waterfall, we should actually be putting some water right around here, I would say. Then maybe we can spill out here into the pond. Yeah. And let's just fix up the rest of the water so it actually is flowing into a pond and not just whatever this is. Now, we could continue on with decorating this sanctuary before we get our sniffers, but I figured that since it's their home, maybe they should have some input on how it looks. So I say that we gather our stuff up and head out on an adventure to find the sniffer eggs. So before we head out, there's a couple things we're gonna need. It's gonna be quite a long journey, so we're gonna need lots of food. Also, if any of you have noticed that my levels suddenly went up, it's because I did a YouTube live stream the other day. We did some basic resource collecting and exploration, and it was a great time. If any of you are interested in watching that content, the VOD is up under the live tab on my channel. And if you wanna catch a future stream, make sure you subscribe so you get notified when I go live. All right, let's get these cows fed. Sorry, 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 sorry. All right, 40 should be good. And let's get all of this cooked up. Holy moly, iron. Kind of forgot about all of this. All right, let's get this steak cooked up. And while we're waiting for that to cook, let's gather everything else we're gonna need, including this boat for travel. And the last but most important thing that we're gonna need to make is the new archeology span brush. That's what we're gonna be using on the sus sand to reveal the items that are hidden within it. Now, to make a brush, I need a feather, which means I need to find a chicken. There's gotta be one hanging around here somewhere, though. <gasps> There's one. Please drop a feather. There we go. Okay, we got a feather, and I believe now we just have to combine it with some copper and a stick. And there we go. We've got ourselves a new brush for archaeology. Just to be on the safe side, let's make two. All right, our stakes are done, and I think 47 is a pretty good amount. Now the very last thing I want to do before we head out on this journey is I want to try to enchant my helmet. If we could manage to get respiration, it would help so much on our hunt for sniffer eggs. And yeah, no. That's okay, we have a couple more shots at this. Fire protection, that is the opposite of what I needed, but okay. Shall we try again? Come on, don't, don't do this to me. <gasps> respiration. This is going to make searching for the sniffer eggs so much easier because they're found in underwater ruins. The more time we have to search underwater, the better. All right, with all of this stuff gathered, I think we're ready to head out. So I think the best bet for us is just to plop this boat in the ocean and swim out until we find a warm ocean. I love a good adventure. <gasps> we found jungle, which means there has to be warm ocean close by. Yes, there's some right here. In case some of you didn't know, the lighter color in the ocean indicates that it's a warm ocean biome. So if we look around here, we might be able to find a rune that contains a sniffer egg. Let's dive down and have a look. It doesn't look like there's anything here, so we might have to keep searching. I think our best bet is to stick around this patch of jungle. Oh, <gasps> there's one right here. Yes, we found one. If you look closely, you can see the difference between the sus sand and the regular sand. It's a little bit subtle, but it's definitely there. All right, let's give this our first ever brush and see what we get. And we've got coal. Not a great start, but okay. Get out of here. I'm trying to do some archeology. span All right, there is a little bit more around here as well. There's some right here. So let's give this one a brush. And we got Wow, amazing. I need to be as careful as I can breaking the sand around this structure because if we accidentally break some suspicious sand, then we lose the item in there, meaning that we could potentially not get a sniffer egg. Just do a little bit more digging around here to make sure we haven't missed any, but it doesn't look like there's that much around here at the moment. Oh, there's some right here. Actually, there's two. Let's give these the good old brush. All right, some more coal. And last one right here. <gasps> Is that one? No way. Is it? It is! Oh, that's so lucky! We found one! Okay, we got our very first sniffer egg. That is so exciting. All right, we got one sorted out. However, I would love to get a second one so we can actually breed them. So we're gonna keep searching around until we find a second. 
Oh, and it looks like we've got ourselves another ruin. First, let's take care of you. And let's get this sus sand. There's two right here. Perfect. <gasps> oh, no, it's an emerald. That actually tricked me. <laughs> another tricky emerald. All right, more sus sand and no luck. Might be a couple more hanging around here. Oh, here's another one. <gasps> no way. That's got to be one. Are you for real? Two sniffer eggs. That's it. In only two runes, we got two sniffer eggs. I don't know what type of luck we're having today, but hey, I'll take it. The one last thing that we should do before we go home is check out this buried treasure map, though. All right, we've shown up on the map now, which means we're getting pretty close. Looks like it's gonna be somewhere over here. Maybe somewhere around here? <gasps> no way, that was too easy. I will definitely be taking all of this. We're really lucky today. Almost too lucky. Well, I'm not gonna question it too much. We've got everything we need, so I say we head on home. All right, so before we put these sniffer eggs on the ground for them to hatch, we need to make sure that this sanctuary is safe so they don't wander out and get lost. So I think for the most part, all of these walls should be fine. I don't really see any low spots where they could climb over, but I might have to get rid of a couple of these blocks. There, that should be high enough that they can't get up. And of course, last but not least, we're gonna need a gate for us to get in and out. And we'll get one on the other side here as well. And then let's go and meal a little bit more of this grass into moss. Hey, you. You sound sniffy, but you're not a sniffer. So you gotta get out of here, buddy. There you go. All right, so now that we have all of our moss and stuff laid out, I think it's finally time for us to put down our sniffer eggs so they hatch. So let's put one down here on the moss and one right here. And now I guess there's nothing left to do but wait. Yep, just standing here waiting for the sniffer eggs. I'm bored. While we're waiting, I think I'm just gonna go get a little bit more bone meal from this XP farm and just place a bit more moss down. Yoink. And let's moss this place up a little bit more. <gasps> I think one's hatching. That one too. Okay, okay. I'll go I'll go back to doing stuff. No pressure. No pressure or anything. But I'll still be keeping an eye on you. How we doing over here? Anybody need some snacks? Maybe a juice box? Anything? No? Okay. Just checking. Don't mind me, just going to get my bed. And I'm gonna place it right next to you two. I'm not being overbearing or anything, right? Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, we are getting very, very close to them hatching. It's getting dark though, so let's go to bed. Wow! <gasps> They're so cute. I can't. Whoa, you've hatched too. You are literally one of the cutest things I've ever seen. Stop it. What are you sniffing around for? Are you gonna go find some flowers? All right, I think it's safe to say that they're kind of digging it in this sanctuary. But to make this even more cozy for them, let's ask the sniffers what types of builds they would want in here. Hello? What are you doing there, bud? You good? Oh, yep, yeah, you're good, you're good. All right, fellas, the choice is yours. What do you want built in here? You want a garden so you can grow your own flowers? Well, that sounds lovely. I can definitely do that. All right, buddy, and what's your choice? You want a convenience store so you can get late night snacks? I mean, I really want that too, but I just don't think it's possible. All right, here's the deal. How about I build a snack shack? It's not exactly a convenience store, but it'll do the job. Sound good? Well, it looks like we've got our work cut out for us. All right, so let's start off with the garden, and I think the perfect spot would be right around this pond over here, which means I'm gonna have to bring some of this grass back in here because I wanna put in some tilled land. This is gonna be the perfect spot to have an array of flowers growing. And then let's just pop a fence around it, and we'll get some flowers planted and ready to go for our sniffer. There, I think that's looking good. We can also pop a couple planter boxes in front of this. And then let's just put in a couple more flowers that we may have missed before. So this little tiny garden section is complete, but I think what's really missing here is a path going into it. And while we're at it, we might as well start connecting a path all around the base so we have an idea of where everything else will go. And I think for our garden, the perfect block for our path is mud. So since I was laying pathing down, I figured I would connect the entrances as well, which gives us a little bit more of a clearer picture of how we're gonna lay out this space. Next up, I'm gonna make a little garden area with a spot to rest and hang out. And we'll start by building up a hedge wall to map out the space. And let's see if we can fit a tree in here to provide a little bit of shade. Yeah. 
I think a flower bed would look really cute in this corner. So let's lay down some coarse dirt for the flowers, and we'll pop in a variety of them in here as well. And of course, we gotta get our cozy little park bench in here. Looking good, looking good. And I think we'll just go with a small dirt path that leads into this section. I think we're missing a little bit of lighting, so maybe some granite walls with some lanterns would look really good. Whoa! You're big boys now! You guys are so cool. You're all grown up. Whoa, what's that? A pitcher pod. I've gotta be honest, I've heard of the torch flowers before, but I have no idea what this is. Does it get planted or something? Oh, that worked. Planting the past. So that's a sniffer seed. Maybe it's just like a different type of plant or something. Well, we're gonna have to wait and see what it grows into. Now for the final touches on this one, I wanna hang some glowberries here, and I would like to start getting some lighting around this base. So we're gonna put up some walls with lanterns. Whoa, I got the torch flowers. Okay, so we got the torch flower seeds, which makes me think that it's something that needs to be planted as well. Okay, cool, this needs time to grow too. Perfect, we're gonna have to check back on those later. And since the sniffers are dropping so many seeds, let's plant another tilled field in over here. Let's put some other flowers in here as well. And I got another pitcher pod and torch flower seed that we can place down as well. Perfect. And then finally, let's connect a mud path over to this field. Whoa! This thing's growing up already. It looks kind of like a turnip. It's really cool though. I don't know when exactly it's ready to be harvested, so we'll wait a bit longer. All right, so I think the farmland that the sniffer wanted is all complete. We've got our little flower field over here, and this torch flower is growing quite nicely as well. And in this corner, we have a really relaxing little garden area where you can just hang out, sit on this bench. This one's more for me for when I'm hanging out with the sniffers. And then over here, we have another field where we can plant the seeds our sniffers give us. How you liking it so far, dude? You love it? I'm so happy to hear that. All right, buddy, now it's your turn. We are gonna build that shack of snacks. And I think the perfect spot would be right around here. So for this one, I think I'm gonna make the build out of blocks that match the sniffer. And the obvious choice to me would be some mangrove, yellow terracotta, and moss. Now, the only problem is that, yeah, I don't have much yellow terracotta anymore. So it looks like I'm gonna have to burn a little bit of this clay. And as for mangrove, yeah, we're gonna have to do some chopping. Chopping down mangrove trees is a task. And you know what? I've got 34 of them. I think we can get away with that much if we turn it into planks. Boy, oh boy, is that a task. Okay, so the next thing that we need is our terracotta and hopefully some of that burned while we were chopping that mangrove. All right, let's dye a bunch of this yellow. And just in case we run out of mangrove, what we can do is we can turn some of these pieces of terracotta into red terracotta as well. And that'll give us a little bit of leeway. So let's start by getting the footprint down on this build. And the walls of the main part are gonna be made of mangrove and red terracotta. Then we're gonna have a little structure on the side made of yellow terracotta for the sniffer nose. And we'll put up just a basic roof on both pieces of the house. And lastly, let's fill in the top of the roof with moss. <laughs> uh, it's so good. I love this. All right, let's get some stairs in with a little bit of a railing on the side. And let's go ahead and pop our door in and a window too. And I feel like the window should be too wide instead. Yeah. All right, let's lead some of this mud pathing to the build so we can start decorating the exterior a bit. This is really starting to come along. I actually really like this build so far. One important thing I forgot to do though was bone meal the roof. Now that's looking a lot more sniffer-like. See the dude on the right? It's uncanny. So I think we've got to decorate the outside of the snack shack with a ton of flowers. Now these guys look like they're done, I think. I just need to figure out what to do with it. Like, can I break this or? <gasps> okay, it worked. So I've got the pitcher plant here and I'm wondering, can I just place it anywhere or no? Oh, you can. Okay, perfect. However, I'm wondering if we can put one in a pot, specifically one of those new big ones. All right, let's make one of these guys. All right, so these are the new decorative pots and they are big boys, but they look super cool. We're definitely gonna have to fit a couple of these around here. Now to get a plant in one of these guys, you have to put a smaller pot at the top. Doesn't look like one of these will go into the small pots, 
but you can use smaller ones like Lily of the Valley to place like that. And it looks really cool. So for this area, let's put a little table here so we can have some plants out for the sniffers. Toss this in here, toss a flower in here. Look at this, he's already digging it and it's not even finished yet. All right, let's get a pot right here. Excuse me, sir. Put a bush here and then we'll make a little shrub like this. Then on the side, let's make a cute little garden so we can put the pitcher plant there. Yo, this is actually looking so cute. I love it. So for this side of the snack shack, let's get another field in so we can plant some more flowers. And I got a couple more pitcher pods, so let's place them to grow. Yeah, this is looking good. Oh, <gasps> another torch flower. Oh, you're the best. Thank you, buddy. Oh, I almost forgot this decorative pot. Let's just place it over here, I think. Yeah. Honestly, I think that they look good just on their own even. But I did learn that you could also put carpets and trap doors on decorative pots like this. So there's tons of different ways to decorate them, which is really cool. Yeah, I think the snack shack is looking super cool. I'm so happy with it. What do you think, guys? Do you like it? You do? You love it? And I picked out all the right snacks? Oh, I'm so happy to hear. And as for the employees section of the snack shack, well, it's just storage. Storage for me to put away all of the flowers for the sniffers. All right, this one is done and it is a hit with the sniffers. They love it. Wait a second. Where did your buddy go? Did I make it so they can escape in here? Sniffer, sniffer, are you in here? Hello? Oh no. Sniffer, sniffer, oh, what are you doing down here? The sheep told you to come down here and party? No, 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 no. That's not cool, that's not cool. Actually, it was kind of cool, and I'm feeling a little bit left out, but that's besides the point. No, 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 don't go further. Ow. Hey. All right, we're putting you on a lead, and we're getting you out of here. Hey, sheep, stop mocking me. All right, let's go up this way. I'm pretty sure it leads back up to the sanctuary. There we go. It was right above us all along. Come on. Come on. Can you make it up? Oh, my gosh. Get Okay, how about we make a little bit more space here? How much of a block gap do you need? Come on, there we go, you made it. Now don't you do that again, you scared me. Well, clearly there's an escape route that I need to fix, cause that definitely can't happen again. So we got all of the builds done that the sniffers wanted. And despite one trying to sneak away from us, I think they really like it here. Now aside from adding a little bit more decorations and details to the ground, there's one more build I wanna do in here. And I think it goes hand in hand with the situation we just had with this sniffer. I wanna build myself a little observation tower so I can look over the sniffers and make sure they're doing okay. Hello? The sniffer is sniffing me. Probably cause I stink. All right, let's get this observation room started. I think the perfect spot is in this corner over here. I'm gonna place it up on support so you have to climb up and down to get to it. I don't want this build to be ground level because I don't really want the sniffers to be able to access this space. Am I doing this to hoard some of my favorite snacks and treats away from the sniffers? Maybe, don't judge me for it. All right, let's just get this platform so it meets up with the hill. And there we go, that's a good amount of space. Next, we need a way to get up. So I'm gonna throw down some trap doors so we can place ladders on them. We need some fence posts to keep us from falling up here. So let's use some granite and gates. The platform is all done, which means we can build up our observation room now. I'm gonna go with pretty much the same design and palette as the other build, but this build is gonna converge into the hill that we're on. So we'll toss up the same basic roof style on this one. Next, we'll put all the moss down, get our trim put down, and let's bone meal all of this. All right, my elevated lookout is up and I think it's looking great. Now it just needs a little bit of detail added to it. I'm just gonna keep things simple by adding some trims along the bottom. And then I think some various decorative pots upstairs would look nice. I think these torch flowers are grown and I want to see what I can do with them. There is a recipe, orange dye you can make with them. Where can you put them? Can you hang them on things? I'm not exactly sure to be honest. Can we put this in a pot? Oh, you can. Those look so cool. I love that. Once we get more of those, we're gonna have to put them all around our base because those look so cool. They have not been dropping those as much as they have the pitcher plant though, but I still like these guys too nonetheless. All right, let's get our last finishing touches on the outside of this build. All right, there's my little observation room and I think it is looking so cool. So if we go on up here, which is entirely sniffer proof, we've got the perfect view to watch over our little friends so they don't get into any trouble. You're not in trouble over there, are you? No, you're good? Okay, perfect. 
So if we go on in here, I've kept it pretty simple. We've got a cozy bed in case we need to spend the night here. And we have lots of bookshelves so we can record our research. And that's pretty much it. So it looks like all of the structures that we needed to build in this sanctuary are done. However, we are still lacking a little bit of detail in some spots. There's a lot of patches of moss and grass around here that could do with a little bit more life to it. Plus, this thing is still missing a path to it too. So let's spend some time to decorate this area a little bit more and really make this sanctuary come to life. Alright, after spending some time adding more details to this area, I think the sanctuary is done. So we've got the pond over here which kind of kicked off the entire design of the sanctuary, with tons of fields in place around it so we can replant all of the plants the sniffers give us. I added a couple extra here and there because I thought it would look nice with a little bit more, along with some wheat fields here for a little bit of a pop of color. Are you nodding because you like it? Yeah? Heck yeah. So over here we've got our snack shack, and next to it I actually ended up adding in another pond because I thought the blue would complement the palette of this build really nicely. And I really love how this area in particular turned out. I think it looks super cute and cozy. And most importantly, it matches our sniffer. And then over here, we've got our observation deck that we built out. And I added in a little bit of extra greenery around it to make it look overgrown. We put in another wheat field over here just to add some more color. And I think this area looks super cute as well. Now there's one last thing that I forgot to add to this build. I almost forgot about hanging signs. Now I feel like it would look cool to have one here, except I don't really know where. Maybe if we get rid of this, turn this into a full plank, and then here we can put the observation room. Yes, these hanging signs look so cute. I love it. And of course we cannot forget this one, Snack Shack. Now we can say that these builds are complete. That looks so cool, I love it. Wow, this area has really, really come to life. It was a really big project, but I am so happy with how it turned out. And it looks like the sniffers are having the time of their life as well. I think they're digging this space. All right, everybody, I think that's gonna be it for today's episode. I had such a blast adventuring in this new update and making this cozy place for our sniffers. I hope you all enjoyed this adventure and I can't wait to see what's next. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.